Hello, everybody. About to do my YouTube Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. The thing is, like, since what's name's coming out, I'm like, yeah, might as well come out with a movie review. It's good. I like the movie. Yeah, it stars Eddie Redman, uh, Colin Farrell, and I'm trying to remember the other actors. Well, the thing is, I know that uh, the characters: Queenie, Jayla Kowalski, and uh, Tina. Yeah, and of course the president of the U.S. branch of Wizards, and they call, oh spoiler alert, but the thing is it's been out, what, almost two years? Three. They call them no match instead of calling them muggles. And I'm like, okay, and the thing is they're very strict, and this is like set, I guess, in the 1920s or something, or 1930s. Well, the thing is starting out with Newt, that's Eddie Redman's character, the Oscar award winning actor for uh, The Theory of Everything, where he played Stephen Hawkins. And it was a good movie that one. This one is good too. It's, yeah. So, it's good. The thing is, he is in New York. I guess he's traveling, just enjoying himself. And then one of his creatures escape from his suitcase. And later on, we find out what's in that suitcase. And this creature is stealing anything metal or something precious. Like, yeah, there's the pool jewelry. I was like, wow. First, at a bank. And then Mr. Kowalski is there trying to get a loan for his bakery. He's like, try one. It's my grandmother's recipe. Nope. Doesn't get... He doesn't have any collateral. I'm like, damn, this banker is rough. So next thing you know, he's getting... He's getting the creature that's stealing all these coins. Just putting it in his belly. And then it goes to the vault. He's like, you know, Alohomora. I was like, ah! And then he stops and the next thing you know, he gets him out. And he forgets to obliviate him. And they're like, did you obli And then that's where we meet Tina. Well, the thing is, she was following him the whole time. Then she takes him to, I guess, their ministry, and they're like, okay, he has dangerous stuff in that suitcase. And that's where we meet Graves. They, like, call him Pharaoh. And they open it, nothing. It's a regular thing. Like, hmm, okay, you can go. He has it, and the beasts are let loose. They're going. They're gone. I'm like, oh, oh, this is getting interesting. Well, there's so many stuff that happens, and then we get to meet Tina's sister, Queenie. She's a clairvoyant, I guess. She can read their minds. And I'm like, Queenie, hello, hello. God, yes. <laughs> Woo, call me, baby. Yes, I'm Florida. And, uh, yeah, so, the thing is, now, after that, because he got bit by one of them, and he puts, he's like, hey, he goes into the suit suitcase, because now he actually has a suitcase. He goes down there, and then, there are so many creatures because I guess he's a herbologist or a scientist kind of and he likes to save beasts and study them from all around the world and then we see the Obscurus and while this is going on there is I forgot their second order or something does their cuckoo she does she knows witches are alive and she's trying to tell the public be aware of the Wiccan! Be aware of them! I'm like, what, are they from Salem? Oh, and that's where we get Ezra Miller's character. Yeah, he's very flamboyant, if you know what. Have you seen? Oh, he dressed as Toad at this year's Comic-Con. Cuckoo! It was funny, and then I'm like, oh, Lord. I'm like, okay. Whatever. Wear all you want. Still can't beat me in a duck walk. But I was like, yeah, that, his character is cool. His character is like more really like, uh, Seems like he's been abused. And that's where Graves is right there trying to manipulate him. And then he's like, here, this is very special. <gasps> the Deadly Hollows. It has it right there, yeah. The, you know, the triangle, the circle, and the line. I'm like, oh, crap. Yep, that is Grim. Right there, I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, so he's a follower of Grindelwald. Because they mention him in, in the beginning, Grindelwald. And I'm like, oh, crap. And they're like... Will Dumbledore, 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 will Dumbledore be in this movie? No, absolutely not. He will not be in it. <laughs> He's not in this movie. He's in the next one, in the trailers. That's why people are calling him Sexy Dumbledore. <laughs> I'm like, wow, that's crazy. No, but Jude Law's going to be playing Dumbledore in the new movie. And then I saw on this one, I was like, whoa. It's getting good. There's so many good moments. And finally, they catch, because Kowalski and Newt, they catch one of those hippos. He had the scent, and he's like, oh, and then he smells it, and then he gets the scent, and he's chasing him, like, oh, she, he's trying to get, well, I don't know if it was a he or a girl, but they're definitely trying to get their mate. Whew! It was funny, and then after that, she takes him to the, she takes him to her ministry, the president right there, and she's like, Scamander, they're like, the war hero? 
No, it's his little brother. And then we find out he got kicked out of Hogwarts. Dumbledore likes him. Like, you know, kind of like Harry, that type of relationship. Not like, likes him, like, hey, you want to go out for some tea? So now they're going to be sentenced to death. Gray's right there. I'm like, cool. And then the whole thing's going on. And then what happened? There's this newspaper company, The Sun, I guess it's the senator. They go there, the Obscurus, boom, kills him too. And it's getting crazy because no one's like, there hasn't been an Obscurus here for a hundred years. I'm like, yeah, don't believe everything that you do not see. And it was cool. I mean, the movie's getting good. It's getting better and better and better. But now, I'm like, there's so many other parts. I'm like, yeah, but Queenie, hello, hello. <laughs> so we finally get to, I guess, the final battle where, I forgot the kid's name, but the thing is, Tina was trying to save him from his people that were, because they, oh, he actually obscures her because he's the obscurest. She was abusing him. Because she found a wand, and then after that, he was protecting his sister, and then Graves is using him, and then he's like, you have such power, let me harness it, and then it's like, he's using you, and then he's trying to help, and then Tina's trying to help, and then finally, she calms down, and then everything, and then the U.S. ministry, they're there, and they see it, and then they shoot at him, yeah, and then what's named Graves, is like, you don't know what you did, and then after that, he's going after the president, and like, oh, shoot, do it, do it, and then Newt had to ruin everything, I don't know, I just don't like the president. She's beautiful. I know the actress. I like her. But this character, I'm like, hey, if she was gone, I'm like, five stars. No, that's renewed. And then transformation. It's Johnny Depp. Okay, it's Edward Scissorhands. It's Captain Jack Sparrow. It's Grindelwald. And I'm like, oh, shoot. And then I'm like, wait. This movie's out while the other, I'm like, is he still on con in contract with Disney? I don't know, but hopefully not. Well, I guess not, because now he's in part two. And it got better now that he obliviates everyone, including Kowalski. But he gets to kiss Queenie. Or Queenie kissed them, vice versa. vis a -vis. And the next thing you know, he finally gets the collateral, and he makes his little shop. <laughs> and the whole thing, uh, there was a Love Strange or Lestrange. And I'm like, wait a minute. And then I'm like, wait a minute. They were progressive. No, I'm just saying because of the only, uh, even they seem very discriminative against muggles. That family, because you know the strange and then the blacks, they got together. And just, yeah, I'm talking about black family, not the cut, the racial color. No, not the racial DNA. But I was like, yeah, I was like, whoa, okay. But I'm like, whoa, because of his girlfriend. I'm like, hey, baby, whoo. And the queen is like, she was a taker. You need a giver. I'm like, yes, you do. Because Tina, she seems like the woman. She. I hope they get together in part two. Really, I really do. Oh, and the you know crimes against uh, crimes of Grindelwald. Hope they get together. And the whole thing, because Sarah right that they like each other. He's like, how about I give you my book in person? I'm like, ooh. And then next, I'm talking about the part where he got to shop. Queenie goes in there and he's smiling like. And he's like, I was like, oh, okay. At first he's like, mm -hmm. like you know that part where like, wait, I know. But how do I know you? And he's like, smiles. I'm like, wow, he remembers. I hope. <laughs> well, I'm assuming he is, or they're going to do some spell like unbeliviate or something. Whatever those moments I liked when the movie. Yes, I practically spoiled the whole thing, but I did say spoilers. Okay, bye. Please come right. Thumbs up. Bye.